So I brought it in, grabbed the opposite rope, and pulled. And with a little practice, you can get where you're really fast at it. I just go like this. Let's try it real fast. You ready? So we're going to try the devil's handcuffs. Just takes a little practice, and anybody can do that one. That's a good one, isn't it? Okay, let's show you some tricks with some other items besides ropes. There's lots of things you can do with tricks for kids, and I really enjoy magic tricks. Are you liking this? Good. All right, we'll show you some more in just a minute. Well, Miss Stephanie, I would like to show you some tricks that I do when I go out to eat with people. Most of the times when you go out to eat, they will have a couple of spoons and a couple of forks and a glass, right? I want you to watch this trick. You take two forks like this, you put them together, push them together, ah, so they stick. Take a toothpick, put it in the forks like this. Now, I want you to hold your finger out upside down like this, and let's put this right here. Oh, oh, almost, almost. Let's try it here, folks. I want you to see if you can tell me how this works. Okay, hold your finger up there, a little higher. Now turn it real slowly around over that way and back over my way. Why don't the forks fall off, Stephanie? That's pretty neat, isn't it? You can even balance it on the side of a cup. We'll take the forks on the toothpick, if I can get it to go here, and balance it right on this cup. Shove the toothpick in and balance it. Oh, the cup is not quite heavy enough. I'll hold the cup to support the weight of it, and it should balance right there. Wow. That's pretty neat. They just stay right there, hanging on the side of that cup. You think, how on earth can that happen? Well, actually, if you're balancing on a toothpick like this, the weight of the fork has to balance on your finger, so half of the fork is behind my finger from these handles sticking out. So this is actually a very simple balancing trick. The forks are jammed together, and the toothpick stuck right through any of the... I put someplace in the middle, so it has to go through both forks. Pretty neat one, huh? I have two ordinary spoons and an ordinary glass, actually a plastic. What do you call a glass when it's not made out of glass? Anyway, whatever it is, we have one here. And I'm going to hit the end of the spoon like this, ah. right into the cup. All you need to do for this one is get the base of your spoon against the middle of the glass. Make sure it is all straight. Line this one up. If everything is in a straight line, and this is just barely touching this spoon, when you push here, it's going to lift up on that spoon, right? And if you do it quick enough, it'll flip this spoon right up into the glass. That'd be one you could practice at home, right? There you go. Okay, let's try a few more tricks. Well, today, Miss Stephanie, we are going to show you how to make a ticket to heaven. Once upon a time, there were two boys that rode the bus to Sunday school, George and Sam. Well, the Sunday school teacher took a piece of paper like this. He told the boys and girls how to go to heaven in Sunday school. He said, now, boys and girls, you have to ask Jesus to come into your heart so you can be saved and go to heaven. You have to have your sins forgiven. And George said, well, I want to do that. So George prayed and asked Jesus to forgive his sins, and he became a Christian. He became a child of God. So the teacher took a piece of paper, folded it like this, folded it down like this, and said, Now, George, this is to remind you that you have asked Jesus into your heart. This is going to be your ticket to heaven because you've got Jesus in your heart. So George took the piece of paper, and he stuck it in his pocket, and he got back on the bus to go back home from Sunday school. And another one of the kids on the bus, the Sam kid who was in the class, Sam did not want Jesus to come into his heart. He did not want to get saved. So Sam came over and he said, George, I see you got the ticket to heaven. He said, I never got one today because I didn't, I didn't ask to get saved. He said, George, would you, would you let me have part of your ticket? And George said, well, 
I suppose I'd give you part of my ticket, but really, Sam, you need to get saved. He said, no, I don't want to get saved. So George took his ticket and he cut off one third of the ticket. He said, I'll just give you part of my ticket, George. Or so he gave it to Sam. Sam got to looking at this and he said, you know, all I got's a bunch of pieces of paper. He said, that's probably not enough to get me to heaven. I've been pretty bad. I've done some bad things. He went back over. He said, George, could I have some more, please? And George said, Sam, listen, I'll be glad to give you some more, but really, you need to get saved. He said, no, I don't want to get saved. I just want part of your ticket. He said, okay, well, I'll give you part of my ticket. So he cut what he had left in half, gave it to Sam, stuck it back in his pocket. Well, Sam thought, you know, this ought to be enough to get me to heaven. Now, I don't even have to get saved. I'll just take this ticket. And sure enough, one day, Sam died. And he went up to heaven, and he stand in front of the gate and said, hey, let me into heaven. I got a ticket right here. And St. Peter came to the gate and said, uh, Sam, you don't have a ticket to heaven. He said, yes, I do, right here. This is my ticket to heaven. Look. Peter said, Sam, let me explain something to you. You never asked Jesus to save you. You got a ticket, all right, but you don't have a ticket to heaven. Nobody gets in here with a ticket. What you really have, you got tricked. He said, Sam, you have a ticket to where? Hell. He's got a ticket to hell because he never asked Jesus to save him. Never did get saved. And then George died. He came up, knocked on the gate, said, hey, Peter, let me in. I got a ticket. Peter said, you don't get in with a ticket. You got to have Jesus in your heart. And George said, I know. I'm really trusting in what Jesus did for me on the cross. And that's how you go to heaven. Uh. Would you like to learn how to do that trick? All right, we'll show you how it's done. Take a regular piece of paper like this. If we fold it in half the long way, the only tricky part of this is you have to know how far to fold it over. So what I did is I folded in one corner and made this mark right there. Now right here is where I want to fold it over to. I'll fold it over that far right there. Now when I fold these two corners in, sort of like you're making an airplane, it's going to make everything I need to make the ticket to heaven. Fold the two corners in, fold it in half. Now if you cut right off about a third of it, get that scissors open there and I'll help you cut that off. Open that up, straight up right there, perfect. Okay, hard, just because you're cutting through a bunch, okay. That's the first part. Now cut it in half again, right down the middle. And when we cut it in half this way, okay, now see if you can make the letters hell from that, right there. Unfold all the little pieces. I'll help you, help you out a little bit. Fold all the pieces flat. And you have, that's part of the E. Let's get the kinks out of there first. Bend it backwards. There's part of the E. Here's another part of the E. All right, like that. And here's the middle part. And here is the letter H. Now, what's this open up to when you open that up? There, show that to Brian right there. That opens up to be the cross, what Jesus did on the cross. There we go. Well, Miss Stephanie, now I'm going to show you how 